Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here with our lovely friend Kira and she has set up this nice, nice nighttime dinner for us and I'm curious to see where it's gonna go. I'm, I'm, I have a rough idea of where it's gonna go but let's, let's see anyway. It was worth the trouble. Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red, but let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? <laughs> More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. Uh... Hmm, so we're celebrating something. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Oh. Thank you. Once Kira's again. coming out of hiding, is she? Tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? I lifted a pig curse oh, once. It was wild. Um, and the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Um, thought we came here to make love, Jesus Christ. I didn't destroy the workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fike Isle has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. You could go there yourself if you're that <laughs> worried. Sorry. Now the curse isn't Such there anymore. Such a gloomy subject approach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends with benefits. Friends so. with benefits, wow. Ah. As, as tempting as it is... I'm tr I'm trying to. <laughs> I mean, I've not I've not been a hundred percent faithful through through the last two games anyway. But ah, uh, there's Triss and Yennefer, and we haven't seen Kira for God knows how long. There's someone else. Sorry. Sorry. There's someone else. <laughs> so what? Oh, Geralt, Geralt, you're so old-fashioned. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? Hmm. Why not? Sure thing. Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Oh God. What the? F Did she just put it to put us to sleep? Kira, where? What the? Put me to sleep with this. Wow. Spell. Means she's up to something. She yeah, she is up to something, isn't she? <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. We knew it. We knew she was gonna go back there. Let's be honest. Well, that was that was an interesting one, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, completed. Let's just have a look at that. Grateful for Geralt's help, she invited him to an elegant supper during which he dined with her on these refined delights under the lights of the moon. Kira had hoped this pleasant evening would be capped off with a romantic finale, but Geralt did not share this desire. And so, rather than indulging the pleasures of the flesh, they lay back and admired the stars. And so that is, Kira quite unexpectedly put Geralt, um to sleep with a spell. When he awoke, he was unsure exactly what the sorceress was playing at, but he suspected it had something to do with the tower on Fike Isle. She had asked him many she had asked him many probing questions about it while they dined. Yep, there you go. Well, for the advancement of learning, find out what Kira is doing in the tower on Fike Isle. I mean I, I do kind of want want to do that, I'm not gonna lie. I mean if the if the tower is literally just over there, we might as well go and do that, right? Oh, her character uh, thing's been updated as well.
Sadly, the event started out so nicely and ended quite unfortunately for the Witcher. Kira put him to sleep with a secretly cast spell. Clearly, she wanted to hide something from him. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not not a not a big fan of that. Little bit perturbed. I mean, as nice as it, it like, I don't know if she was just bitter, bitter about the fact that Geralt, did, Geralt wasn't interested in banging her, but you know. Could have been a bit a bit more polite about it. Right, I'll take one of these three boats and uh what do you mean I can't do that now. What? Are you joking? Okay, I won't take that boat. I'll take one of these ones. Right, so let's go. Even though this boat has a hole in the front. Oh, 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 this was the same one we must have actually took out earlier, which was why it's got the damage in the hole in the front. That makes sense. I respect that. Right, let's go and find out what she's up to. As I'm not gonna lie, a bit suspicious. And yeah, I do, I do kind of want to save, save our love in this game for either. Uh, for either Triss or Yen, de depending on how it goes. I feel I feel like that's a decision that's going to have to be made at some point. Um, but it should be one of the two, considering the history. I don't think Kira really... I mean, it would have only been one night, but still. Am I... I Am I overthinking this situation? Like, like, am, am I just thinking too, thinking too deeply into this? It's quite possible that I am. Right, let's uh, let's head into the tower then. Well, I'm not gonna right. lie, I'm. Top floor of the tower. Yep, Kira's definitely gonna be in there, isn't she? Ah, she came to steal the papers. Fair enough. So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line, but I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo, wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. Just don't appreciate being uh, being messed around with. I don't like two-faced serpents. Oh God! Yeah, joking aside, what exactly are you playing at? Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Never heard that analogy used before, not gonna lie, but carry on. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Oof. Radovid never forgets. Yeah. Radovid doesn't forget, and Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. I, mean, I saw how he treated Philip. that. Well. You believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday? Oof! Are you laughing? Oof! I'm going to see Radovid. Kira! Oof! Whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, this... that could end so badly for her. It's suicide. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? 
Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. You're being very you high and mighty now, Kira. Bloody swamp one day more, not one day. I shall cross the pond tower, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. <sighs> go to Care Morn. That's an option. Yeah, go to Care Morn. Got another option. Go to Care Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way. Well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. <laughs> You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. Before I go the notes, I'll take him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um Shit. Uh I mean what benefit would there be from not letting Kira keep the notes? I'm not sure. Like um would <sighs> Like, I guess... I don't even know. Would that prevent her from having a change of heart, maybe? Yes, it would, wouldn't it? Because she could change her mind at any moment and Gal wouldn't be able to stop her from doing that. So, yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, kinda. So before I go, I'll need you to hand me those notes. Alright, alright, take them already. Thank you, Kira. Farewell, Geralt. Or rather, see you soon. I shall see you at Kermorn. Bon voyage. Oh, and she's off. Yep, and she's absolutely... Achieve unlock friends with benefits. <laughs> What's that? Complete the subplot involving Kira Metz. Well, we did, uh... We did well there, didn't we? So it turned out Kira played the Witcher like a well-tuned well, well harp, strumming all the right chords to keep him occupied. While she stole the Mage Alexander's notes from Fike Isle, she was planning to use the notes as a bargaining chip while making a deal with Radovid. His plague research could be her ticket to ticket back to life without lice, ticks, and omnipresent filth. In the end, Geralt succeeded in squelching Kira's mad plan to bargain with a man whose favourite negotiating tools were red-hot pincers and burning pyres. Kira changed her destination from Oxenford to, to the decidedly safer confines of Kermorn. And we have the, um... We have the, the notes as well now, don't we? So... Is that a quest item, or is that...? Conclusions. One droplet from a colony of plague bacteria diluted in one hundred quarts of pure water sufficient to reduce infection. Uh, in the absence of medical care, the illness terminates in death in 93% of cases. When medical care is provided, the illness terminates in death in 89% of cases. Jeez, that's a horrible plague. Individuals who supply survive deal with complete immunity to the disease and never succumb to it again. There are two interesting uh, directions in which further research can proceed. Firstly, increasing the time during which the bacteria colony remains active after dilution. Currently less than 12 hours would allow for its use as a weapon, one ideal for diversions or sabotage by the enemy lines. Second, the development of immunity in survivors suggests a vaccine may be possible. Undertaking either of these would require an enormous dedication of time and means, neither of which, sad, sad to say, I possess at the moment. Well, I mean, if if Kira were to just study it for humanitarian means, then that would be fantastic. Unfortunately, however, doesn't necessarily seem that seem that that would be the case, which is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, okay. So do we have any of the secondary quests? Um, 
We got the Wild at Heart quest. Finding his wife. So that one is... Uh, oh, that one is in Black Bow. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out this little um, island that is just off of Fike Isle. The, the isle off an isle to, uh, to, to basically put it that way. Um, then after that I'll return and I'll go, and I'll go to Black Bow and talk to Neil and, and, see, and see where that quest takes us. Just with the fact that it is a level six quest, it's probably something something that we could probably pursue pretty soon. Just have to sail round the round the island now, which is unfortunate because I I don't know I don't think there's any other boats stationed on the island right now, so. It looks like a ruin of some kind. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna save the game again because this could uh, could go badly. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Kira Metz does rock up a Kermorn once we eventually go back there, because we will. Um, hopefully, she gets there safely. Anyway, <laughs> I do feel trying to bargain with Radovid, given given his extreme anti anti sorceress agenda. Uh, yeah, I mean, he literally hunted down all the members of the lodge he could find and killed them all, so I don't think that that's going to go well for her. Alright, what have we got here? Hidden treasure. Nice. Pretty ideal. Shall leave the helm. Fool's Parsley leaves. Nice. Is that a dead man? That's a dead man. How nice. More Fool's Parsley leaves. Gal, why are you swimming? Gal, stop. Weapon repair kit. Tear tock air blade. Wow, okay. What is that? Can you please just stop swimming, Gal? The, the tear tock air blade is, this, is a pretty good steel sword, just not, just not quite as good as the one we have. Okay, what else is on this aisle? Uh, there's another another couple of dead bodies. Blood smeared notes. Note to self. Small isle with ruins or bridge built of red brick. That's the spot. Traces of a camp left on the isle. We'll need to dive down among the submerged ruins. Chests visible among them. New quest sunken chest. Find the sunken treasure chest using your witcher senses. I can do that. Let's dive down. We'll try and take everything one at a time if we can. More meteorite ore, etc. There's a lot of chests down here, isn't there? Enhanced wolven armor. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go to the surface. There are some drowners there who may cause some issues. Yeah. I've got a crossbow equipped, so that's fine. I may need to utilize it in the water. Thankfully, I know now. I know. I know now that I can actually do that, which is a relief. One dead drowner. That I must have missed that one. Let me surface again before I run out of air. Am I gonna get attacked? I feel like I'm probably gonna get attacked. Where's the damn drowner? It's it's a very awkward place to fight them as well because there's obviously so much collapsed, collapsed uh, buildings around. Another dead drowner. Where's the last one? Also need to make sure that I don't um, die again here. 
Come on. Come on, Geralt. Come on, Geralt. There we go. Let's try one more time. Can we use the crossbow on the surface of the water? Is a question. It doesn't matter. The drown is dead. Alright, let's dive. Oh, I think this is the one. Oh, there's a couple, actually. This one as well. Dithwin. We need to surface. Quickly. Surface, 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 boom. There we go, we're good. Right, so what do, what do we pick up? Uh, the Dithwin. It's a good silver sword, just not quite good enough for us. Uh, what else do we get? Got some bits and pieces, didn't we? Yeah, we got a lot of swords in our inventory, which we can um, palm off. Palm? Palm off to a blacksmith. I think I was somewhere between pawn and palm there. <laughs> uh, although pawning is a pretty good, pretty good uh, d uh, description of, of what we normally tend to do. So, right. So let's return to our ship quickly. If we just hop back in. We need to go back to the aisle. Which we should be able to use to fast travel. Oh, actually, is there a way to fast travel without using the actual points? Or... Or is that another thing? Actually, that's Black Bow, isn't it? So we can just fast travel to the harbor that's there. Just like that. Perfect. Wunderbar. Um, we'll have another quick quick save as well. Uh, oops. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Um, and because there is another mark here which may sig uh, signify something. More hidden treasure. That's fine. If it's not guarded... Well, that's just all the best. A water damage letter. Malka, I know you don't smuggle no more, but you've set aside plenty of coin and ain't interested in the risk. Just want to enjoy time with your wife and kiddies, but I gotta ask you the f you I gotta ask you for a favor. We gotta move move one more load, and it's the last. I promise. It's a simple job. Couple of chests, risk minimal, and the reward substantial. Please do it. If not for the gold, then at least for all time's sake. But more sunken treasure. It just fe it, it it feels like there's just sunken treasure everywhere. So so it's in the middle of this lake. That's fine. Cool. So right, we're so gonna end this episode here now. Then guys, next episode we'll go back to um. We'll, we'll find this treasure and then we'll go to Black Bow and speak to the hunter who wants to find his wife. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.